On my high school team, we had five guys make the NBA. We had the county rocking. It's the mecca of basketball. There are those who come before us upon whose shoulders we stand. It's nothing that you can do to stop a competitive edge. It's just in the water. Let's uh, jump back to college, man, because you had a motherfucking legendary career, legendary <laughs> teammates, legendary coach. Tell me what that experience was like, because Jack went straight to the league, but I went to UCLA, and it was the best time yeah, of my, my life. Yeah, my dumb and, ass. And, my dumb nah, ass. Nah, you want a dumb ass. You just got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, Joe, you know, I'm going to keep it real with you. I couldn't pass that damn test, bro. I couldn't pass that damn <laughs> 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 You ain't telling me nothing. I don't know. I know a lot of people that go overseas for that. They ain't tripping. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Like one thing I would say though, Jack, if you ever had the opportunity, bro, you that would have been your best time ever, man. Oh, like, man. Yeah. like for me, I Tell knew him. I was going for eight months, you know what I mean? But like, I'm like, yo, I'm here to win a championship. If I don't win it, cool, but I'm gonna have this most fun ever. And yeah. to being able to go to class or get up and grind every day, man, like we had, bro, when I tell you Coach Cowles was one of the crazy coach, after like two weeks, I said, yo, I think I picked the wrong school. I want to transfer. I called my mom. <laughs> she was like, she was like, boy, you staying. Like, listen, every morning we had to be on the suicide line. We had 20 suicides in 20 minutes at 6 a.m. every day Ooh. for summer school. So, Ooh. like, our first 10 suicides was like the basic one, uh, free throw line, bang, bang, bang. Then the last 10 was... Baseline, baseline, other free throw line, like, and I'm like, yo, did I pick oh, the right no. school? Like, this is not basketball. That's and crazy. Then, Pat I'll tell you one, yeah, type thing. So I tell you one of the funny stories is we run a suicide. We got like four left, and like the guards had to finish like 28 bigs, had to finish like 35. Demarcus' feet caught on fire. Like, <laughs> so he stopped running. Like, like he really, he he missed suicide. He missed suicide. He run to the sideline to me. I quit, man. I quit. Like my feet burn. I ain't doing it no more. Coach Kyle, be, he was want to be all Billy, so he was like, you know what? If he would have finished the suicide, I'm going to give y'all tomorrow off. No, he wasn't going to give us tomorrow <laughs> off, just trying to use it. <laughs> so we got suicides the next morning, man. DeMarcus sitting at half court. He ain't got to run because you know, he, he the reason why we got to run today. He's sitting at half court, no running. We all looking at him like, yo, we got to jump him after this because like, there's no way we got to run suicide. <laughs> and he ain't got to run. <laughs> but we know one about beating DeMarcus up back then. No right. way, no way. But yeah, like Jack, that that school, man, it was the most fun ever, man. Just being able to prepare every week, having maybe two or three games, and the most fun with me was going on the road. Like, All right, with you your don't brothers. get that, you don't get that atmosphere and that that culture they brought with talking trash, and it's just you and your your fourteen guys, and you yeah. going out there to go to battle and go to war, and it's like you got to win or survive out here. Ain't nobody on your side. You know, Kentucky fans travel, but it feel like hell yeah. yeah. It still Crazy. didn't feel like a home game because of the way they were treating it, but it was dope, man. You couldn't ask for nothing better. And, like, if it wasn't for me being number one pick, I wanted to go back to school just to win a national championship just to get that atmosphere and that, like, fun and how exciting that was. That's what's yeah. up. Tell me about what that team was like because you played with a lot of NBA players in college. Your team, the team was rock star status. You know what I mean? Man. That's when social media just started hitting. Like, y'all was the shit. You, it, Bled, Boogie. Man, was, like, what was that like? It was so, man, like, we stayed in the Wildcat Lodge and, like, we walked, like, outside our building where we stayed in the practice What's court, Wildcat like, Live? It's, like, where the players stay, but we, we got to let, like, 10 regular students stay so they don't, like, you get extra benefits. It's, like, where we stay, okay. like, having an apartment. So we had, like, a game room and all that in there. But, like, from here to, like, 10 steps is, like, where we practice at. But it would be, like, 60, 70 cars of people waiting for autographs every day, and we couldn't get away from them. So it was, right. like, yo, we can't even walk to <laughs> class without... <laughs> So, like, we started, like, using the golf cart to go to class. Football team got mad. They told us we couldn't use it no more. So we had to walk. It's, like, haters. so cold. Haters. We walking backwards to class. But what was so fun about that year was, you know, nobody, like, the returning players that came, like, Patrick Patterson and Ramon Harris and Darius Miller, none of these guys never played for Cal. So, like, the freshmen in the, in the upper class, it's all some new for all of us. So, like, they didn't know what Coach Kyle was looking for. We didn't know what Coach Kyle was looking for. So we all had to bond and come together. But we did everything yeah. together, bro. We went bowling together, out to eat together. Like, we treated it like you do as a league team that has great camaraderie and, and one of those good teams because they hang out together nigga, so Nigga, that much. was a league team. For sure. Yeah, so that's what just we about to like, say. Nigga, y'all had eight, 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 eight pros on your team. But, you know, like, we had all the other guys that kind of like, you know, like, if you got, like, me, Pat, DeMarcus, E. Bled, like, we know we about to go. But all the other guys, like, man, they ain't going to hang with us. They don't really rock with us. But we like, nah, bro, we all a brother. We all a family. Right. Like, we right. go in the water to fight every night. If one guy get hurt, the 15 guy going to hang with us. 
So to have right. like the guys that didn't think they was a part of our crew all to get together, that's why our team was so fun and having so much. Man, we was just doing whatever, man. Like we could nothing was wrong for us to do in college at the time. And we walked to the corner yeah. stores like, oh man, there go them guys again. We're like, right. we here. That's us. No, no, it was dope. College college was the outside of having children and being blessed to play in the league. Like college was the funnest time of my life, man. That's and you like your and, last. And you in LA, you at UCLA, so I know you was having a blast. Yeah, but see, mm, I, mm, I think mm. I think different because LA is LA and it's so big and there's so much other shit to do. You know what I mean? So it's not you went to where motherfucking Kentucky basketball, there, basketball is basketball religion. The basketball right. and horses. That's basketball all you got. is religion. I remember the best part, I, I, I obviously go, going there was dope, but my freshman year in 98 was the NBA lockout. So we had everybody at our game. So I'm tripping coming from like Sacramento, like motherfucker, we got Shaq and Kobe at our game. We got movie stars at our game. We got Snoop coming to our game. And I'm like, damn, this is what UCLA is about. Like this shit was a trip, but it was because it was the NBA lockout. So we had hella NBA players at our game, front and center. And I'm just like, yo, this shit can't be real. Like, it, it, it was just like that real La La Land type shit. And that's when I just mm -hmm. fell in love with this shit, bro. That shit was a blast. That was my plan, to go to Where college go for go? eight months. I had, we had the number of recruiting class that year at Arizona. Me, Mike Bibby, and uh, Eugene Eckerson. We had the number of recruiting oh, class that, that class. year. Oh, you that class. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was loaded. Yeah, I remember that class. Yeah. yeah. And we already had Michael Dickinson, uh, Miles Simon. We had our, yeah. all, all them guys already. So we was going with that. And they ended up winning the national championship. So it worked yeah, out how nice. it was supposed to work out. My and ass just, just wouldn't can stay. <laughs> I couldn't stay out the club. Test was at 8. I'm leaving the club at 5.30. That, that wasn't going to work. I ain't going to lie, man. First time I took that test, man, I fell asleep. I was like, man, I don't need this to pass. They come back and say, all right, I'm going to tell you one thing. You're going you to be figuring something else out. I said, all right, now I got to lock in. I brought me a snack the yeah. second time. First time I ain't bring no snack, no calculator. I'm like, I got this. You know what I mean? Spelling names wrong, doing all that. You better get this right or you're going to be hurting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's something about how this place forms a different kind of person. On my high school team, we had five guys make the NBA. We had the county rock in. You mentioned Prince George's County. People know what it's about. It's the mecca of basketball. There are those who come before us upon whose shoulders we stand. Being from this area, you have to have tough skin. The gym became his sanctuary. PG County guy. Provide buckets for America. You take it like too serious. Prince George packs a lot of power, a lot of character. I don't really think they hear us. It's nothing that you can do to stop that competitive edge. We're pushing the community and the culture forward. It's just in the water. This life was all I ever wanted. I'm not leaving. Not yet. I was hoping you'd say that. We gotta hit the streets, make some money. People like us must destroy people like him. Get Showtime free at Showtime.com.